I reach out towards Miyu's hair. Got it. I promise that. Ah, this fucking fool bit him again. Well, see you both tomorrow. Thank you for today. Yes, take care. So, see you tomorrow. Matane. <laughs> now Rika and I are alone. Strangely enough, this is where I first met Rika. Although she was trying to kill you, but we'll just leave that little detail. We'll forget that little detail for now. Well, whatever. Can you wait for us at the usual spot? You can take a little break. I just have to have a word with Rika. She's like, <gasps> <laughs> What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Moe Ninja Girls. So we're continuing where we left off. We're either on chapter four or five now. I don't know, I don't particularly rem remember. It kind of sucks because I had just missed... Where is it? Yeah, I missed... I just missed the collecting period for that. Damn it. Oh, well. Because I wanted to take advantage of more of those cookies to try and get some more stuff. Because honestly, reading the story is what gets you the most cookies. And especially when you have a times two boost event going on. Or when you have a boosting period going on, you get so many cookies from that. It's a good way to capitalize on all of it, but unfortunately I missed it. But that's alright. Anyway, let's just get back into the story. Let's see, are we on four or five? Four, okay. Future of a failure, okay. After school the next day. And that's it for today's Ninja Seeking Club. Good job, everyone. Yeah, good job, guys. Hmm, it should be okay to go home without finishing up this report, right? No, if we don't leave a record of our club activities, there's no point in having a club. Boo, you're no fun, Enju. That's right, stop saying things straight out of the book, class rep. Can you stop criticizing me for what I should be praised for? Oh sure, we know you're very hardworking, that is one of your most attractive qualities. We're just too much fun, that's all. It doesn't matter. Let's leave the idle chatter until when you finish writing. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, here it is. I'm going to head to the student council. Hmm, lately I haven't shown myself at the comics club. Maybe I should check in. I'm going straight home. How about you, Mitsuke? Hmm, I'm going to... Today I'm supposed to meet up with Miyu and Rika, but how can I say that to Akari? As I worry, Akari waves her hands and laughs. It's fine, don't worry. I said I'd lead everything to you and I trust you. I see. Thanks, Akari. Downer, what's with this Mitsuge? You mean you can't go home with me today? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you're always doing this lately. Why are you so darn cold, Mitsuge? Johnny, Mitsuge has an important mission. What? A mission? That's tough, eh? Fine. I don't think he really gets what's going on, but at least he backed off from pestering me. Thanks, Akari. But, I'm still so lonely, bro. Do you hate me or something? I don't remember us becoming brothers. Stop being so clingy. So, what exactly are you doing? If you just tell me that, I'll leave you alone. Huh. I can hardly tell Johnny about the scroll search or the ninja training. But I don't think that he's going to let it go. What's up with him? Ask Rika! Because we're on the Rika route. Um, for that, you should ask Rika about it. Huh? Okay. Hey, Rika, tell me about what you guys are doing. Pretty, please? Uh... Now that I think about it, isn't this the first time that we've talked properly? I'm so sorry for being such a crappy classmate. Hey, let's talk more and get closer. Kind of irritating. Rika looks towards me. She gives me a look that seems to say, is it okay to bump him off? I shake my head as he's an important member of our club, eliciting a face of disgust from Rika. Mmm, you're one as close to Rika, yeah. You know, so far we've gotten a lot of the Rika choices. Cause it's been a lot more straightforward than other chapters. Or other, the first season. Anyway. Ha ha ha. So, Mitsuge, just what are you doing? I'm not sure how to reply. 
Johnny is hopelessly stubborn. Enough, Johnny! Stop causing trouble for me to gay! What's that? I didn't mean to cause trouble. Look, John son, let's go home. No way! Me to gay! Me to gay! Johnny is led away by Akadi and Enju. Akadi turns back towards me and winks. You're a trusty club manager, and now we are free to talk. As I exchange looks with Rika and Miu, we begin to walk. Oh, okay. So, we're looking for the scroll. Oh, no, we're training. Yes, please train me without holding anything back, Rika-senpai. In those clothes? Yes, is something wrong? No, never mind. Are you ready? How about you, Rika? <laughs> She's probably embarrassed, too. Rika, what's the matter? It, it, It's nothing. Let's begin. Mitsuke, you referee. Got it. If I have any advice to give, I'll let you know. So, start. Stato. On my mark, the curtain falls on the pair's fight. That's enough. <laughs> hmm, compared to before, Miu Miu has gotten better at moving, eh? Because Rika's teaching methods are surprisingly good. Surprisingly? Really? Isn't that kind of mean? Shut up. But today... Miu's movements have definitely improved. But rather than that, I felt that Rika was moving strangely. It was like she wasn't putting her heart into it. Like something was holding her back from concentrating. What's up, Rika? You seem kind of off today. You knew? Yeah. Did something get to you? It's just that... Rika's answer trails away. It's nothing. No, I don't think that it's nothing, right? But Rika turns away from our conversation and wanders back to school. Sweaty. Need a towel. Rika? Mitsuke senpai what's the matter? Challenge a checkpoint. Soul, please. I should have a bunch of souls, so I'm not worried about... I get a box... Okay. Accepted. Cool. Don't know what the hell I'm going to do with the box, because I haven't really been doing the the jewel gotchas, but whatever. Uh, um... Did you say something naughty to her? No way. What kind of person do you think I am? Rika is definitely not her usual self. It looks like Miyu picked up on that, too. Mitsuke-senpai... I wonder if Rika-senpai is worried about something. Worried, huh? Rika was supposed to have enough problems for one. Originally, she was sent to kill me, a ronin ninja. Now it looks like she has another problem. Will you leave it to me? You know, will you leave Rika to me? I might be the cause after all. But, but, I'm worried too. Rika-senpai has been taking good care of me. Hmm. I know that Miyu is very worried. I'm sure Rika would be happy to know that. But if this is something to do with the village, I can't let Miyu get involved in that. I'll let Rika know that you were worried too, Miyu. So just leave this one to me. Don't you trust me? It, it's not that. I think you can definitely help her. I see. Thanks. Arigato. Mitsuke-senpai... Please make sure to help Rika-senpai as much as possible. Look, Rika, you've got yourself one great student. I reach out towards Miu's hair. Got it. I promise that... Ah, this fucking fool bit him again. You think you could just reach for Miu Miu's head and touch her like that? Hmm? Fu-senpai, please stop biting Mitsuke-senpai's hand. Ugh. What are you, some snapping turtle? My fingers are finally free, but they are starting to swell and redden. They're not broken, are they? Of course not. I'm always careful of that when I snap. Besides, if I break them, we won't be able to help Rika anymore. That girl is teaching my Miu Miu her ninja training and all. I do feel like I owe her something for that. You're a surprisingly decent person. I mean, a decent rabbit. 
Plus, that girl has huge boobs. <laughs> Absolutely huge breasts. There's no need to say it twice, you dirty rabbit. I was almost fooled. I'm back. What's the matter with you two? It's nothing. Let's go home. I leave Rika with her head tilted to the side and exchange looks with Miu. Okay. One is closer to Rika. Well, see you both tomorrow. Thank you for today. Yes, take care. So, see you tomorrow. Matane. <laughs> now Rika and I are alone. Strangely enough, this is where I first met Rika. Although she was trying to kill you, but we'll just leave that little detail. We'll forget that little detail for now. Now, how to break the ice. Come to think of it, it's not as if I have to hold anything back from Rika. Rika, I'm going to get straight to the point. What? Will you tell me what's the matter with you? Is an assassin going to come from the village because you couldn't dispose of me? Rika's eyes widen. Bullseye. Soon, though, she frowns. No, it's nothing to do with you. She simply says that and leaves. H hey Her face told me not to ask anything. I wonder if it was a more deep-rooted issue. Hmm. The next day after school, I was still looking for a chance to talk to Rika, but... Hey, I saw another ninja in the city! A real one this time! Seriously! I'm sure it was just a cosplayer or something. You can't doubt from the start, Enju! I support Johnny! Well, Akali, you're my angel. Hehe, <laughs> you're making me blush. What do you think, Yamabuki? Yamabuki? Quiet, one second. I'm just thinking this. I'm just inking this. Yes, it's done. Hey, Johnny. What? Just add the screen tones in here and here, leaving it to ya. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Time to sharpen my otaku skills. Since when did this become the comics club? Let's leave it there, Tengei-san. If I don't do this now, I won't make it in time. Okay, you do the typesetting, Akari. Okay! Stop turning our club members into your assistants. Akari, this isn't the time to say okay. Well, if I if you have time to complain, Enju, you can do this page. Oh, and Miyu, can you stick the screen tone on here? Uh, oh? Okay, I'll do my best. What are these guys doing? I look away from the scene. Actually, I'm keeping an eye on just one person. Yes, Rika. Rika! I'm turning the tables on her and watching her today. Rika is sitting there without moving a muscle. She's blatantly ignoring my stare. For her to take such a stiff attitude towards me, this must have something to do with the village. It's a competition of endurance. I continue to stare. <laughs> ah, Akari, this bit is sticking out. Johnny, don't be so forceful with the precision knife. There, don't be so sloppy. What do you think comics are exactly? What do you think this club is exactly? As the sun begins to go down, an unsteady Enju slumps at the desk. But let's finish here. G good job, everyone. Aww. Hmm. Well, that was something new. It's my first time to be a manga assistant, too. Now I'm one step closer to being an otaku master. Look at me. Even Johnny looks tired and collapses mid-sentence. It's quite the scene of carnage. That's what I think as I look from the sidelines. Ah, thanks to you guys, we'll make the deadline. Thanks so much, everyone. And out skips the perpetrator of said carnage. Off she goes to submit the manga to the comics club. Well, shall we go home then? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, even I'm beat for today. As a small mercy, Johnny is just far too tired to pester us like yesterday. Okay, Mitsuke, see you tomorrow. Yep, see you. Matane. And with that, the defeated Akali, Enju, Johnny, and Tenge leave the room. And that's fine with me. Miu, are you still on for today's training? 
Yes, I'm okay. I still have energy. Really? She looks a little faint. Well, whatever. Can you wait for us at the usual spot? You can take a little break. I just have to have a word with Rika. She's like, <gasps> <laughs> Okay, I understand. Miu stands up energetically and leaves the room. So, Rika, I'm gonna have you talk to me today. What are you worrying about lately? I stare at Rika. I don't intend to leave until she fesses up everything. <sighs> Rika finally looks like she's caving in and gives a sigh. Fine, I'll talk. I'll talk, but... But? What? We'll be overheard here. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Is it something that bad? Come with me. Silently nodding at Rika's words, I follow behind her. There should be nobody here. Seems that way. I look around but can't sense anybody. So, what is it exactly? I'll guess. You had news from the village or something. That how do you... Somehow, I had that feeling. And experience. Rika had originally been sent here to kill me. It had been a while since we were transferred to the school. It was about time that the village got exasperated. You're most on the you're mostly on the right track. They want me to do a progress report. And if there's no progress, then they want me to return. A command to return, huh? I don't have a good feeling about this. A hefty punishment awaits any ninja who returns to the village after failing their mission. She'll be treated like a ronin ninja like me. Or even worse. I already told you I can't let you bring them my head, though. Actually, my orders aren't to kill you. What's that? I thought I explained at the beginning. They want the Kamui sword. Your life is just an afterthought. I guess you did mention that. I don't remember that. But that means that you just tried to kill me on the side? That's right. I feel depressed that's such a shocking truth, but I shouldn't let that get me down too down right now. Well, I won't let you give them my head, but if it's a Kamui, sure, why not? What? Well, since it's a family heirloom, I'm reluctant to part with it, but we'll have to make some sort of sacrifice. It's nothing that this saves Rika's life. Rika is also a Treasure Club member. Or maybe she's more than that. But I have no idea why they're after this old thing. No, I can't accept that. Huh? Why? Nande? That sword is yours. I can't cause you any more trouble than I already have. As she says that, she turns on her heels. Wait! Mate! Chotta mate! Where are you going? Back to the village. I'll tell them like it is. No, don't do that. You'll be killed on sight! That's too dangerous. Do you think I'd let you do that? As I grab Rika's shoulder roughly, she turns towards me and tilts her head. Why try to stop me? Why? It's because... Because I'm worried! Because I'm worried about you. Why? Why? Even if you ask, I have no idea. You have no idea but want to protect me? Even I don't really understand. But I don't want you to die. That's it. I'm happy that you feel that way, Mitsuke. But... Rika gives a little sigh and casts her eyes down. Hey, Rika. I see, I see. Rika Machiyuki. So you had already been ensnared. I'm interrupted by a high-pitched male voice. As I turn towards it, there stands one male ninja in a black ninja outfit. This guy, how did he get so close without me sensing him? Could you be... That's right, you might even call me this girl's successor. I guess we don't need more introductions. You're going to die soon anyway. There's no doubt about it, this guy is an assassin from the village. I didn't think anyone would come after her. But wait, why does someone else come from the village? Hmm, it's because the village elders already know all about your failure. You never came back, no progress report. And knowing that, they dispatched me here in your stead. 
What? Do you understand? You've served your purpose. This isn't any of your business anymore. If you get it, then just watch. Don't you try and get in the way now. You, shut up for a second. Oh, so frightening. Makes sense for such a legendary ronin ninja. You really want to kill me, don't you? But, I didn't come here to kill you. I came to negotiate peacefully. Negotiate? Yes, for the Kamui you have. If you give me that, then I promise never to bother you again. So, hand it over. You don't want to start in any annoying battles, do you? And if I did, what would happen to Rika? Oh, are you trying to protect that failure of a ninja? Ha ha ha! That is funny. Of course she'll be coming with me, to face her punishment. I see. Then I only have one thing left to say to you. Yeah, that was a good choice. Okay. Yes! I position my feet and take my battle stance. My hands are empty and I have no weapons, but that should still be enough to take this guy. If I should defeat you here, no word will get to the village about Rika, right? My, you are scary. <laughs> Rika Machiyuki, how does it feel to be protected by your enemy? Don't look away from me. Picking on girls makes you look like a person with bad taste. Oh, then I guess we don't have much in common. I love tormenting pretty girls. This guy is horrible. I need to take him out quickly. With that in my mind, I step forwards. Hold it right there. You should listen to a person's words to the end. I have nothing left to speak with you. But, what's with this guy? Even though he's obviously not as strong as I am, what's with this recklessly calm attitude? I wonder if he has a trick up his sleeve. Hmm, hmm. Hee hee hee. Are you finally going to listen to me now? As I said before, I love tormenting pretty girls. Especially... The man takes a phone from his sleeve. I balk at the phone hidden up his ninja's sleeve, but the problem is what's on the screen. I also happen to like imprisoning super cute kohais like this one here. Oh, he captured Miu. What? The place is dark and I can't see where it is. But there, lying in the center of the screen is a girl. And without a doubt, she's... Miu? Projected there was the beloved Kohai member of the Ninja Seeking Club. Shit. Okay. Time for the preview corner. This time it's me, Akari, and... Me, Enju. Wait, what's going on? I know, right? What a pickle. Our beloved Kohai Miu has been kidnapped. What are we waiting for? Shouldn't we call the police or someone? Hmm... I'm not sure how much attention ninjas pay to the law. I... I don't know either. All we can do is leave it to this, this story's ninjas, Mitsuke and Rika. We aren't supposed to know about this part of the story, but Miyu's in a bind. She's in trouble. That's right. Mitsuke, we won't forgive you if you fail. That's harsh. Do your best, Mitsuke. You too, Rika. We're cheering you on from nearby. Wait. When did we get caught in the crossfire? Time for the troublesome chapter 5, Thawing. Please look forward to it. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs> cool. So the story's starting to get kind of interesting now, alright. So they kidnap Miu. Hmm. I didn't think they would resort to kidnapping in this story, but okay. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens in the next one. Anyway, guys, going to be it for this. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can let me know by leaving a like or telling me in the comments below. Subscribe for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, deuces.